Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on evaluating a limit. Obviously, we're going to try to see if we can use L'Hopital's rule. If we have a zero over zero or infinity over infinity, then we can use it. Let's evaluate it. When x equal to two, we have a zero on top and then a zero on the bottom. So, of course, we can use L'Hopital's rule. Oh, I didn't leave enough space for myself. Okay, so what we need to do then is to find a limit. In order to find a limit, we're going to take a derivative of the top and the bottom. The derivative of the top, it's pretty easy, it's 1. The derivative of minus 2, of course, is 0. On the bottom here, we have a 0 minus, and this chunk, I'm going to write it into the exponential form to make it a little easier for myself to take a derivative off. Derivative of this one, I'm going to use a power rule, which is a half, and then x plus 2, the minus half. Okay, now from here, I'm going to evaluate it, put a 2 in there, x equal to 2. So then I have 1 on top, minus half, times, since this is minus half, I'm going to use 1 over radical x plus 2. It's a little easier and prettier to me anyway to evaluate it this way. All right, so I have 1 on top minus half. Let's see what I have here. It's 1 times 2 plus 2, which is 4, and take a radical root. Let's take a radical root of 4. Now, you notice I'm pretty careful. I'm writing a lot more steps than I really need. The thought behind it is on an exam, if I can write more steps, even if I make mistakes, hopefully, teacher will take a pity on me and give me more partial credit. The whole goal of uh, taking a test is to get as many points as you can possibly get your hands on. So here I have a minus 4 as the answer. All right, so let's uh, do a quick review. There's nothing fancy here. I think taking the derivative, writing it into the exponential form does help. I always prefer putting it back into the radical form when I have to evaluate. Um, once again, the, the goal is to slow down so I can grab as many points as I can. All right, I hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, or at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.